Okay, this is going to be a bunch of video clips here. No particular order. We'll see how I go on doing it when I do the editing. So this is what I've made here. A satchel for my winter gear. One of the problems I was having is how am I going to transport all my winter gear? Now if I have a pulled sled that's fine. But if I need to put it on my backpack I'm going to be able to do this. And what I'm going to do is I made this satchel right here. I was going to use a big army duffel bag and I thought oh I can make one. And I'm going to put on a Alice frame. Okay, so let me show you some of the features of this sack. So I got some material. There's the material I got like this. $6.99 for uh, 36 inches, which is one yard by five feet. That's what it was. This whole pack cost $15. Here's the pack. It's uh, about 22 inches high by about 19 inches wide by 10 inches deep. Here's the features I got. Put on some D-rings and nylon webbing. Right? So this is the front. This is the back. Doesn't really matter. Got D-rings all through here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Got a leather bottom. This leather was uh, just scraps, four dollars for that. Got a little loop here for my axe. Got a little drawstring top, which isn't that effective, but it's just basically one big bag. Materials I used, some Velcro was like a buck. Some of this material, like I say, was $6.99 for one yard by five feet. Some scrap leather here was $4. And then I just used a Sharpie pen. The D-rings were a quarter a piece, a ruler, regular old tape measure, some EMT type shears to cut everything. And then I sewed this on a sewing machine, but I'm just going to show you this is a needle set that you know I could have done it with, but it would have taken a lot, lot, lot longer. But this is that would work for this leather. This leather is pretty thin. I guess it's from a split they call it. I really don't know anything about leather, but a sewing machine does go through that. So here's some extra material. So that's the pack. It's about 55 liters of space, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in it in the next video. Okay, there it is, all packed up. 54 pounds. That includes a couple of days of food, but it does not include water. Very essential on the food. Very essential, or uh, very minimal on the food, very minimal on the clothing. The idea is I'm going to have my coat on. I'm going to have everything be able to be dry because I have a tent with a warm stove in it, so I can hang up my clothes to dry out. Once I get that fire going, I'm good as long as firewood is available. I'm not tra taking this on a 1,000 mile trek across Canada. This is going to be, you know, within a few miles of my car. It's to get off the trailhead and into the trail a little bit, maybe hunting camp situation. If I have a polk sled, of course I'm going to put this baby in a polk sled. Uh, I'm also going to be relying on somebody else to carry some food. But I'm still pretty much self-sufficient self here. So this is 54 pounds. I've already carried this load 41 pounds for three miles straight. Not in the winter, but just last week. And it was no problem. It was three miles, one hour, 41 pounds. No blisters. It was relatively level terrain. The idea here is, again, I'm getting off the trailhead, but I cannot make a long fire or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm doing the warm winter tent. The other thing here is I'm going to have my REI flash pack 18 liter. And in here is all my essentials. There's going to be, uh, you know, my knife, my headlamp, you know, my PSK I'll have on me. You know, things like that. The first aid kit, that, that's all going to be in here. And this pretty much goes with me everywhere. So, <laughs> believe it or not, you have to lack on a couple of pounds on top of there. But, you know, I'd flatten this all out. There's some extra junk in there, my everyday carry stuff. So, water, I'm going to make some assumptions here. Water is available. I can't make a long fire outside. I will be able to make the fire inside. Uh, I did this as cheaply as possible. Winter, if bulk sled is available, I'm going to do with that. This the whole pack cost me $15 to make the pack. Alice frame was about $15. Um, you know, I could be using a big game cart or a wagon or any of that kind of stuff. If it's only a block from the trailhead, of course, that's going to change my setup quite a bit. But it does all fit on the Alice pack frame. Uh, the other advantage of having the Alice pack frame is I can use it to haul firewood, to haul water. To really haul any other big load. It's, the Alice pack is not the most comfortable, that frame. I've put on some foam padding and I can sew some more stuff. 
This was all sewn on a sewing machine, no problem, $15, uh, definitely a lot of weight. I'm in decent shape, certainly not great shape, but I'm, I'm not really uh, overweight by more than 10 pounds, and I'm trying to get that down, and this will work for me. It's a cold weather setup, not necessarily uh, winter with snow, because a lot of times in winter around here in the upper Midwest, believe it or not, we only have snow about six or seven weeks on the ground. The rest is, you know, it's around freezing or a little bit below and it's, you know, snow, thaw, ice, whatever. So that's my loadout. I could uh, think about taking some things out, but this really is the essential winter kit, 54 pounds, minimal amount of food, minimal amount of extra clothing. Uh, and that can all be changed if I have to make multiple trips or I have a Polk sled or somebody's with me. So that's my thoughts. The project was a lot of fun.